United USA 2020 and beyond. Check this out. This is a video I've wanted to do for a while. This right here is called the ADS, the Active Denial System. There are different types of direct energy weapons, but this is one of them. And right now in this briefing, they're going to be talking about a different kind of microwave technology, but nonetheless still something that is highly effective in debilitating someone. Learning new details tonight about suspected directed energy microwave attacks targeting CIA officers and top national security officials. We first started hearing about them, and we told you about them here on Special Report in 2016, shortly after then-President Obama opened the embassy in Havana, Cuba. National Security Correspondent Jennifer Griffin at the Pentagon has the latest tonight about a suspected attack here at home. U.S. officials say there are now 130 suspected victims, mostly CIA operatives and U.S. diplomats being treated for brain injuries, debilitating headaches and vertigo, the targets they believe of a directed energy microwave weapon. There's a mysterious direct energy weapon that is being used, and it is causing, in some cases, permanent traumatic brain injury. New indications suggest the incidents go as far back as 1996. Two individuals working on the NSC believe they were targeted in 2019 and in 2020, just after the election. One was near the White House and one was walking her dog. The Russians have been working on mobile microwave weapons for years. We have to get more information and we got to tell the public what's going on. The U.S. Air Force and tech firm Epirus have developed a mobile high-energy microwave weapon to bring down drugs. Drones. Epirus is also working on a miniature variant of the weapon that can be easily transported on a pickup truck. This is the type of technology that might be targeting American... ...at a special loudspeaker, which can target sound very accurately and to a precise location. Now when I whisper through this, it can be aimed right at you and no one oh. hear, <laughs> hear the sound. It sounds like it's right here. <laughs> It's basically like a laser of sound. Quiet down, please. We're watching. Special on it on, I believe it was National Geographic. Um, I never forgot something like that. That's something you never forget. And now that I'm showing you this, you'll never forget this for the rest of your life. So directed energy weapons are very, very real. Um, they were going to use this in Afghanistan. Congress shot it down because they said it would be inhumane or create controversy, blah, 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 blah. But this is what a lot of people don't know. Um, it was developed by a company called Raytheon in cahoots with DOE and DOD, Department of Energy, Department of Defense. It's capable of going up to 95 gigahertz, right? Millimeter wavelength. Now, why do I want to bring this up? Well, the reason I want to bring this up is because that's exactly what 5G technology is. These, the short cell, the small cell, millimeter wavelengths uh, that I've shown in videos on the top of street lights all around town that you guys are seeing rolled out in the last couple of years. They're everywhere. They can be directed. Um, if you go to AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, uh, Sprint sites, they directly admit that those systems will be operating anywhere between, you know, like 29 uh, and like, you know, up to like 40. Um, gigahertz of energy um but are they capable of going up to 95 gigahertz like this i don't know but i'm telling you that this is where 5g technology came from now they've just learned that there's multiple uses for it uh but this is also one of them so yeah pretty pretty crazy stuff check this out too as well this weapon under development for 15 years has yet to be used in the field the technology has attracted safety concerns, though the U.S. military says the rays do not penetrate the skin and pose no health risks. If an operator is squeezing the trigger and there's a lot going on and he uh, inadvertently keeps squeezing the trigger, there's an automatic shutoff for three seconds. Out of 11,000 exposures on people, only two minor injuries have been recorded. The Pentagon has not yet decided whether it will order the active denial system, whose powerful beam can reach up to 1,000 meters picture like an invisible searchlight right you know what a searchlight looks like so invisible uh, an invisible searchlight of radio waves going down okay so you heard it ladies and gentlemen so it's an invisible searchlight of basically it's radiation it's microwave technology it's dew it's direct energy weapon and they admit that it goes up to 95 gigahertz directed energy weapon 
Uh, and this is a clip also from uh, about 15 years. So it's this big when it starts and at the end, it's the same size. Eventually, the weapon could be put to a wide array of uses, such as thwarting hostile attacks. So here is a demonstration, and this was the clip from the documentary I saw on National Geographic many years ago. It's dispersing mobs and reinforcing security. For now, it remains just a prototype. What this is, um, is an example to show you the type of technology that they have available that we're lucky that we even know about this. I don't know if I'd use the word luck, but think of all the technology and the things that we have no idea the capability of our military or other countries' military or classified technology. This, my friends, is a prime example, and they've got much more than that. Here you go, ladies and gents, just a couple examples. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please smash that like button, like, and share.